हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन ट्रिक नंबर 362 गेट अनदर डिवीजन ट्रिक दिस टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू ट्राई एंड डिवाइड नंबर्स बाय 19 यूजिंग अ शॉर्टकट विदाउट ट्रेडिशनल डिवीजन ऑब्वियसली डिवीजन बाय 19 इनवॉल्व्स अ लॉट ऑफ स्टेप्स इफ यू वांट टू फॉलो द ट्रेडिशनल मेथड एंड यू आर लाइकली टू कमिट मिस्टेक्स आल्सो नाउ यूजिंग द शॉर्टकट यू कैन डू इट इन 3 और 4 सेकंड्स ओनली Now, how do you do it? Suppose I take the example of eight upon nineteen. Now, see, I have written the shortcut here. This method is called repeated halving of numerator. So we have to take the half of the numerator uh, once, twice, thrice, and so on. Now, see what happens is the first one here is 8 so what we do is we take the half of 8 we get obviously 8 will get divided by 2 exactly so we have zero as the remainder so this i am writing the remainder here and the quotient here so remainder is zero and quotient is 4 8 divided by 2 is 4 Now, if you put the values of remainder and quotient in this, you get ten into remainder ten into zero is zero. So obviously, when the remainder is zero, just take the quotient and divide it by two. So in the next step, you have to divide the quotient again by two. So four divided by two again remainder is zero, and four divided by two the quotient is two. So whenever remainder is zero, just divide the quotient by two again. So two by two again it is zero and it is one. now in the next step the things change so situation changes here now what happens next is when you divide 1 by 2 you get a okay i'll write the next step here because i think it's not visible so when you divide 1 by 2 so obviously zero uh, quotient has to be zero and one is the remainder so if you put this value remainder as 1 and the quotient as 0 here you get 10 so 10 by 2 is now 5 and you can repeat this now 5 by 2 is remainder is 1 quotient is 2 and now you can carry on with the procedure like this so see there are lot of things you are getting here So what are the second numbers? See four two one zero five two. So this is the order in which you will be getting your answer. So eight upon nineteen will be zero point. Obviously eight is less than nineteen, so zero point. And now write, keep on writing these digits four two one zero five two. And now you can go on and on. And find the value of eight upon nineteen to any number of decimal places by repeating this procedure over and over again. Let's have one more example to understand this procedure in a better way. Suppose we have twelve upon nineteen. I'll write the answer here: zero point something. Now see twelve divided by two. Gives a remainder of zero and quotient six. Six divided by two gives a remainder zero, quotient three. Three divided by two gives a remainder one and quotient one. Now, if you put this here, ten into one plus one eleven. So eleven by two gives a remainder one, quotient five. Again, put it here. See ten into one plus five fifteen. So fifteen by two gives remainder one quotient seven. Now if you put it here, ten plus seven seventeen. So seventeen by two one and sixteen by two is eight. So see you are getting these digits, and now you can repeat this procedure. So the answer will be six three one five seven eight and so on. So the answer for twelve by nineteen is zero point six three one five seven eight and so on. 
so you see students division by 19 can be as simple as that and all the digits after decimal place can be found out using this simple and amazing shortcut so if you like it share it and subscribe the channel